Back here in the east tonight, a reentry simulation showing what life is like for people released from incarceration. Trillium hosted an event today at the Greenville Convention Center. Not your side, Sarah Gray Barr was there and has more. Each participant got a pouch like this containing details of the profile of a formerly incarcerated person. Participants had to apply for housing, find jobs and go to treatment, showing the challenges that people released from incarceration face. One of the first tasks to complete was getting an ID. But with more than 200 people at the event, the line for the ID card office got long fast. It is excruciatingly long, yes, and they're not very nice. See what happens when a Sadley ID office was opened. It just goes to show the struggles formerly incarcerated people encounter. Honestly, I did one in Carteret County. I was a participant and I was like stealing stuff. I was stealing ID cards. I was in jail because it was easier to just sit in jail than to run from the cops. Participants who didn't meet requirements or tried to argue with the organizations like probation or employers, they had to spend one of their rounds in jail, losing precious time to get the resources they need to live. While the simulation is just pretend, the issue it addresses is real. This is a simulation and it's all fun and games, but in all actuality, this is exactly what they have to go through. So it is quite frustrating from time to time. It really is. As for lessons learned, empathy for others. Don't judge people by what they, they've been through and have some empathy, right? Because it's not as easy as you did the crime, you do the time, and then you get out and you're fine. It, it takes more than that. It takes the community as a whole. Trillium tells me they have plans to host this event again in 2024 in Greenville, Sarah Gray Bar, 9 on your side.